Hi, I'm Nick Del Zampo. My mom told me to say it like that. I was in mock trial in high school. I thought I was done doing mock trial now that I am in college, but I apparently am not because I'm going to help you learn mock trial and teach it to you with my mother because that's where we're at now in COVID. So I think this is your fault, ultimately. Let's talk about rule number eight. That's character evidence. Character evidence is evidence of a person's personal traits or personality tendencies. So like, like honest or violent or greedy or dependable, you can have a lot of different character traits. You know this, you're a person who has character traits, probably. As a general rule, character evidence is inadmissible, meaning that it is not admissible, if you couldn't tell. So it's inadmissible when it's offered to prove that someone acted in accordance with a specific character trait on a specific occasion. However, there are three big exceptions to the general rule. Number one is the defendant's own character. The defense can offer evidence of the defendant's own character when it's in the form of opinion or evidence of reputation. That can be done to prove that the defendant acted in accordance with that character trait on a specific occasion in question. The defense can use that character evidence to show that the defendant's character is inconsistent with an act in question that the defendant is accused of. The prosecution can rebut that evidence though, meaning they can try to dismantle that. If they can prove that your defendant's got some opposite character trait, not good for you. The second exception is the victim's character trait. If the victim's character can be used to prove the innocence of the defendant, then the defense might want to get on that. And because it's the second exception, it's admissible. So go for it. Number three is the witness's character. Evidence about a certain witness being dishonest is admissible if you're using that to attack the witness's credibility. So if they're trying to give their opinions and tell you what happened on some given night, you can say, well, aren't you a big fat liar? And uh, the judge will say, you know, admissible. You can say that in a court of law. Well, you've got to have evidence that they, this witness had that character trait. Well, the, my mom is telling me you've got to have, have evidence that they're a big fat liar, basically. Which, you know, if you can prove that. In the form of opinion or reputation in, evidence. In, in the form of opinion or reputation evidence. And if you can use this evidence to prove that someone is dishonest dishonest not the other thing it's admissible go for it and the other side can rebut that evidence habits and customs actually don't count as character evidence so if you can prove that someone was acting out of a habit and not a personality trait or that it was just something that is a custom generally then that doesn't count as character evidence and it's a different thing and admissible.